Personal story segment tonight, Congressman Ron Paul recently told Megyn Kelly he's being ignored by the media. Since Ms. Kelly is part of the media, that was a pretty interesting statement. The media is ignoring you. When we heard it, though, we immediately invited Ron Paul on the factor. We don't want anybody to be ignored. Mm. So far, he has not accepted our very kind invitation. Ron Paul, he's whining to Megan, uh, me, and then we invite him on, he doesn't show up. Well, he won't face you because he doesn't want to face questioning. Mm. Yeah, Ron Paul is afraid of a debate? That's ridiculous, right? That's O'Reilly's favorite trick to get guests on. He'll, he'll call him out, he'll be like, oh, he didn't come on, he's a coward, he's so afraid of me because I'm such a man. That's the one politician, agree or disagree with him, that is definitely not afraid of a debate with, oh, with Bill O'Reilly because he's such a genius, right? Uh, he wants to give a speech, right? He's fine when he gives a speech. Right. But then you probe him and you say, are you saying that Iran will not develop the bomb and that if they do, they're not going to use it against Israel? And if they do, it's okay with you? Mm. When Iran has a nuclear weapon, he asks, and attacks Israel with it, how will President Paul respond? Well, Israel has 300 of them, so do you think Iran is going to attack them with a weapon they don't have? And our own CIA says there's no concrete evidence that they're actually building on it. I don't think for a minute that if they got those weapons, they wouldn't dare thinking about t attacking Israel. Israel would take care of them, especially if they had no restraints from us. They would take care of them in minutes. It's not going to happen. It's all war propaganda. Uh, then you say the gold standard. Are you literally saying that the United States of America's economy should only be allowed to grow as much as the gold can be extracted from the earth? Mm. And if there's no gold discovered, our economy has to stay small? No, I don't think he would say yes on the, on the gold standard because that's impossible. So if he did that... that no, no, he's for the gold standard. But, he's, but it's not as clear cut as that. He just wants it to back up the currency. Because governments cheat. <laughs> you right. can't trust government. Right. And if you have a gold coin standard, you all always can check on the politicians to make sure they're not cheating us. All and right. that's why you want a gold coin standard. And you'd have to devise a system where there would be a transition where maybe you could have a gold standard competing with a paper standard, and then uh, obviously gold would win out. People well, would sure. eventually go to gold. But the problem is, is the legal tender laws force us to use dollars in all, in all settlements. So one of my goals in Washington to move in that direction would be to repeal legal tender laws. Actually, all we need to do is obey the Constitution because it's still very clear, it hasn't been repealed, that only gold and silver can be legal tender. Believe it or not, they don't even obey the Constitution anymore. Oh. Now, sir, ex explain to the good people here what I already understand. Why do we need gold for our currency? The Federal Reserve has destroyed 98% of the value of the purchasing power of the dollar since 1913. And in the meantime, they finance every war that they couldn't have financed if they were on the gold standard. Dave, do you want some ice for that burn? <laughs> The Fed has destroyed our currency. You ask him about drug lords. Are you seriously saying that we should not be fighting drugs in the United States, but should legalize it all? We've spent a trillion dollars on the war on drugs, and it, it hasn't done one thing except enhance the drug dealers. So this idea, you can take my philosophy, and I'm not I'm accusing you of doing it, but others have. Take my philosophy and say, Oh, Ron Paul, his philosophy is he's going to legalize heroin. You know, it, uh, that is, is that's it's a gross decision. Wrong, I, want to freedom. I want to legalize freedom. Um, that's why when, when from all... From the very beginning, and we would had uh, Ron Paul on this program, I have said to Mr. Paul's face that some of his positions are insane, that you can't be an isolated nation the way he wants to be. Mm. that bad guys will come and get us if, unless we get them first. Right? We all know this, except Ron Paul doesn't. But there is a strain of people there who love him 
And, and that's what shows up in the 13 or 40 percent that, well, that he gets. Those people that love him better love Obama because if he ever gets the nomination, they Obama can have him would for win. four more he years. This poll is a little deceiving on the Romney front because Romney's strength is not with the traditional Republican Party. Right. It's with independent America. Right. You have to look at any of these polls to see how many independents they're putting in the sample. If it's just Republicans, it's one result. If they're putting in independents, it's another. Right, right. And that, that, I, that people have to understand when you see but, a poll, you've got to be very skeptical about the poll because certain constituencies, conservative Republicans are not big Mitt Romney supporters. Right. But once you get over into the independent, ranks right. and there, that is a very very right. big constituency now and remember that he does that much with, better with no democratic primary most of these states permit independents to vote neither yes so nobody's going to be absorbed into the democratic primary no, they're, they're all going to come into the republican primary, primary. so the, so those are the polls you have to and, and that's our that job here to define it for I think it's fair to say right now that Romney or Perry would defeat Obama. Mm. Bachman would have a tougher time, but could. Mm. And uh, you don't know about Christie. So you, you're giving me mm. Herman Cain, then? You're giving me Herman Cain. Sorry. Are you giving I, me that? No, right now Herman Cain would not defeat okay. Obama. <laughs> Herman's and we got like some, Herman Cain. This isn't a slam he, at these men. He's a good guy, he's but you know what he has to do? He has to learn to take his charisma from the stump and bring it into a debate. And so far he hasn't been able right. to do that. His debate performance is a milk toast on the stump. He's fantastic. This poll is a little deceiving on the poll front. This poll is a little deceiving on the poll front. When you but, see a poll, you've got to be very skeptical about the poll.